Hey guys, welcome to Starting Out Solitary. I'm your Thursday host, Michelle, and this week's topic is Herd Mentality in the Craft. So this week we're talking about herd mentality, which to me means people that follow the crowd or people that just blindly follow certain uh, popular people in the craft or in the pagan community or people who just go along with whatever the crowd is doing or whatever the crowd thinks, etc. And while I haven't seen too much of this in real life, I guess you can call it, I have seen quite a bit of herd mentality online and people tend to flock towards the more popular, you know, YouTubers or online pagans and almost defend them no matter what, when things pop up or when drama starts. And to me, it just seems like people really aren't thinking for themselves. They're blindly following certain individuals in the pagan community just because these people are, you know, well liked by a lot of people or are popular, for a better word. I really hate that word. It reminds me of high school. But, anyways, I see a lot of that online. A lot. But I also see herd mentality in many other communities, not just pagan community, obviously, but in many online communities, there's this herd mentality where people just blindly follow, you know, the the, the more well-liked or the more popular uh, figures or people in that particular community. And I always look at these people that I see you know, blindly following and think, you know, do you not think for yourself? Have you stopped to think you know, what your actual opinion is? Or are you just blindly following, you know, so you don't get backlash from the rest of the community? Or so this, you know, prominent figure or this popular, you know, online personality, you know, likes you or favors you or whatever the case may be. And I think that's what a lot of it is online. People, you know, always want approval. I mean, it's human nature to want approval from your peers and things like that. But a lot of people take it to the extreme when it comes to online communities because, like I said, I don't see that much herd mentality in the pagan community uh, locally. You know, of course, there are people who prefer you know, to go to certain venues or to hear certain people speak or whatever, but I, I see a lot of it online and it just makes me wonder, like, you know, do you really, do you even think for yourself or are you just so scared that this person or the people that like this person, you know, will shun you or fuck with you for lack of a better term if you don't blindly follow like the rest of them? And you know, unfortunately, you know, it happens a lot online, and I try and stay away from that stuff. I kind of step back and look from the outside. While I might follow certain prominent or popular um, online pagan communities or certain uh, you know, YouTube personalities in the pagan community that, you know, have a little following or a little popularity... Um, I, while I may watch them or listen to them or whatever the case may be, I don't interact with the herd, you know? I don't, I think for myself, I take whatever they're saying or presenting online for what it is and, you know, throw away the rest. Like, you know, take what I can use and that's it. I don't feel the need to feel included in some herd or some group, um, and just blindly follow somebody for approval. I just think that's ridiculous. I think more people need to be uh, mindful of their individuality and their own personal preferences. And I know a lot of people who have even said that, you know, they don't want to speak up about certain things or certain drama that may have happened or whatever the case may be. They don't want to speak up because they don't want the backlash from the rest of the community that may 
follow the uh, the certain person or group or whatever the, whatever it is, and that's unfortunate, and it shouldn't be that way. Especially in the pagan community, we should all be, you know, relatively accepting of one another. We're all, you know, even though we all fall under the same umbrella, we're all very very different and very diverse, and we should be more tolerant and more accepting of differing opinions and things like that. And I see a lot of you know, the people that do speak up and the people that don't follow the herd look are looked at as, you know, those people that are either trying to start trouble or arguing or whatever, when they're really just voicing their opinion. And because it's outside of, you know, what the herd thinks, what the group thinks, they're looked at as, you know, assholes or something. So that's why I don't, I, I don't, you know, give my input on certain issues or I don't give my input on certain certain drama that may be popping up or whatever. I just sit back and watch and, you know, form my own opinion and move on to the next thing. But, you know, I think we all should be mindful of how we speak to one another online and how we treat each other online because if you're not going to say it in real life, don't say it online. Don't be a keyboard warrior. Don't be some badass behind a computer. If you wouldn't say this, the stuff you say online or defend someone the way you would online in person don't do it at all be real be yourself and don't be afraid to share your thoughts and opinions even if they differ from the group anyways those are my opinions on the topic and i hope you guys are having a great week